growing up. Um, and I want to say thank you to um, Toronto Roller Derby, Toronto Roller Skate Collective, as well as Roller Skate Toronto on Facebook, who sort of collectively all together helped make this happen. Um, and I'm going to introduce our first speaker, Nicole Maxwell, aka Android. Hello, thank you. My name is Nicole Maxwell. I am the granddaughter of an OGP residential school survivor, an Irish immigrant, and Italian first generation settlers. And I recognize that I am extremely white passing and that I haven't faced the oppression and the violence and the like, racism that a lot of other visible minorities do. I've sat and I've observed and I've witnessed racism and I've spoken up but it won't be enough for the real change. I've lived in Toronto, the now colonized land of the Anishinaabe, the Huron-Wendat, the Haudenosaunee and the Mississaugas of the New Credit for 10 years now and I've been on stage for seven of those. And for anyone to feel unwelcome in these spaces and these communities, turned away from embracing and enjoying and loving their power is complete bullshit, especially when it's based on identity or race. While in Toronto and in these spaces, I've heard racism, sexism, homophobia, and transphobia in our skate parks, in roller derby, and in day-to-day -day life. And like many of you, I may have, I have sat idly or participated or been silent in these conversations, even though I'm not a racist, you know, like we're not, but I just sat there. So. Now I'm working, hopefully like many of you, to actively be anti-racist, to stand up, to say something, spread that awareness in our communities so that we don't represent and don't foster those beliefs and ideas that we should be standing against. Like, stand for what you believe in, even if you're standing alone. And all of, like, we have a great group of people here, you can look around and know that you're not standing alone. It's easier than ever to connect to people across the country, across different, like across the globe and realize that we're not standing alone for this. Um, and I just want to remind everyone that we need to defund the police, that Woo! Black Lives Matter, and we don't want any more stolen sisters. And we're gonna move on to our next speaker, uh, which is Alonzo Moore. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me out here, and enjoy for saying all those nice, powerful words together. I was born in Jamaica, my whole family was, but we came here uh, in 94 and uh, I guess it's it's kind of hard for immigrant families sometimes to just shake up their whole lives and go to a whole new country where they don't really know anyone else. So that's where I found skateboarding um, because I guess my brothers they kind of identified more with the oh let's just play basketball that's what all of our friends do because like my parents they wanted to find the people they were similar to. I found a skateboard one day because, well, my brother got it and he's like, oh, that's that's not for me, man, that's for white kids. And I went, well, let me try that out because that sounds different from what I'm doing. I started to gain this sense of community that I didn't experience anywhere else. But at the same time, in those same communities, there were some of the same people that were making me feel different for just the way I looked in that same skate community as well to the point where someone would see me doing something like like I have a fairly, I don't know if I can do it on grass, but I have a fairly high ollie. Ooh. A lot of people would just be like, you can only do that because you're black. And I don't understand why that's the mentality some people have, but like I don't I also don't understand why they don't realize that this stuff isn't okay to say. It's a, a skateboarder named Stevie Williams, who I, I love his story because like myself, he was a kid trying to escape, um, trying to be different. He's from Philadelphia. So if anyone knows Philadelphia, like, it's a rough area. Like, you gotta pray if you're trying to go out and get your mail. But, like, he didn't want to be a part of that lifestyle, so he found skateboarding. But because skateboarding was so expensive, like, your shoes are getting ruined, your board's getting ruined, and it came from a single mother family, like, she couldn't afford to keep doing those things. So it put his life on a bit of a hold until he managed to find the people that would actually help sponsor him and endorse him and give him the opportunity for it, opening the doors for the opportunities that led to him now having his own company that sponsors other black people. So I'm trying to help all the want to do the same kind of thing because everything like that or these roles and these rollouts, these causes, for actions that we're all trying to take, all of these are important towards educating, like uh, Android said, the next seven generations to let them know that you know what you came from doesn't mean what like that's where we have to go to. So Thank you all for coming out and supporting. And yeah, I love you all. Thank you.
stare into the sun.